Silfab Elite. Q cells, Q Peak Duo G10. Which is the best discount solar panel for your solar power system? We're going to be doing that comparison in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past nine years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, you're gonna find a lot of solar product reviews and comparisons, like today's video here, we're doing a head-to-head -head solar panel comparison, uh, as well as reviews of energy storage uh, technology, like home battery systems. Now, in today's video, we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the Silfab Elite and the Q-Cells Q-Peak Duo G10 solar panels. Um, these are the two solar panels that we still have available at the 2021 pricing. And so what we're taking a look at is really which makes the best choice if you're looking for a very competitively priced discount solar panel. Now folks, I'll tell you, when you're looking at evaluating options for a solar power system, the solar panel itself actually has the least impact on the functionality and, and the capability of the solar power system. Um, the number one thing that you probably want to look at first is which inverter system are you going to choose? Are you looking at a micro inverter system like Enphase? Uh, or are you looking at a central inverter system like uh, a Solar Edge or maybe a Generac power cell? Um, the, the second thing that you want to look at if you're looking at battery storage is what battery uh, and the specifications on the battery. So I would say number one most important choice is the uh, inverter. Second most important choice if you're looking for backup power is your battery storage and which battery you choose because that has to be closely matched with the appliances and the systems within your home that you're looking to power on, uh, on emergency backup power from the battery. And then the third uh, most important component I would say is the solar panel uh, itself. Now I will say this folks, most of the solar panels today, if you're looking at kind of the middle price range, they pretty much all look the same. And in terms of performance, they're very, very, very close to each other. Um, pretty much all of these solar panels now are assembled on a, on a fully automated robotic assembly line. And so regardless of the country of manufacture, the actual manufacturing process is pretty much the same across all the top brands. And that's definitely the case here looking at Silfab Elite as well as the Hanwha Q cells. Um, also, pretty much all of the top brands have gone to the all black aesthetic. So when we say all black, we mean black frame, black cells, and black back sheet. So when you have these solar panels installed on your roof, uh, it should just look like one sheet, one sheet of contiguous black glass. And so for aesthetic reasons, a lot of folks prefer that way. We, we don't really see the old silver frame uh, or the, the older panels that have kind of like the bluish colored uh, cells. Pretty much everything here has moved to the black on black, which is the case with the Silfab Elite and with the Q-Cell G10. Now the major difference between these two panels is, is really in, the, in their power output and their power density. Uh, as of today's recording, we have the Silfab Elites coming in at 380 watts per panel, whereas with the Q-Cell G10, you can get up to 400 watts per panel. Uh, and that is out of the same 66 cell uh, form factor. So as you may have recalled from our previous videos on the top solar panels for this year, 2022, um, pretty much all of the brands have moved to the, the 66 cell form factor, meaning if you were to look at the individual cells in the solar module, uh, you basically have 11 rows high with six columns across. So that's the 66 cell form factor. Previously, we used to use the 60 cell form factor, right? So 10 rows high by, by six uh, columns across. So Q cells definitely does have the advantage as far as uh, power output and power density. Although Silfab may have a slight advantage in terms of the warranty. Their, their, their performance guarantee on the warranty actually goes out to 30 years, whereas the Q cells warranty just goes with the industry standard 25 years. And, and it's rated to, do, to be 86%, uh, meet 86% of initial rated power uh, out to 25 years. But folks, both of these are great, great options if you're looking for a discount solar panel. Um, like I said, if, if, you're, if you wanna get pricing, you know, 2021 pricing, these are the two brands 
that we still have inventory we still have available at the 2021 pricing. Uh, so as always, uh, if you need to get a price quote, if you haven't gotten already, you can always just reach out to us on the link below there. So it'll take you to our website so you can schedule just a short virtual call with one of our team members, and then we can put together some designs uh, and some pricing for you. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good information from the Solar Surge channel, please be sure to click on that like button. Um, also, be sure to share the video. Uh, if you, you know, maybe post on your social media or if you know anybody specifically who's in the process of evaluating solar options for their home, Solar Surge has a lot of great informational and product comparison videos to make sure that homeowners are making the most informed decision. Uh, and then, of course, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Right now, we're trying to get two to three new videos out for you each week. And by subscribing, you'll be notified and uh, it'll come up on your home page and your feed whenever we have a new video published. Well, folks, thank you for taking the time to watch with Solar Surge again today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.